Good morning, everybody, and welcome to morning prayer for Saturday morning. If you're following in your prayer books, we're on page 419 of a prayer book for Australia. In the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. God has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We say together the opening canticle, a song of creation. Bless the Lord, all created things, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all people of the earth, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. O people of God, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. The day has now passed and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 88. You can find it in page 313 of the prayer book if you're following. And we'll say the psalm together this morning. O Lord my God, I call for help by day. And by night also I cry out before you. Let my prayer come into your presence and turn your ear to my loud crying. For my soul is filled with trouble and my life has come even to the brink of the grave. I am reckoned among those that go down to the pit. I am as one that has no help. I lie among the dead like the slain that sleep in the grave whom you remember no more, who are cut off from your power. You have laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness and in the watery depths. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and all your waves are brought against me. You have put my friends far from me, and made me to be abhorred by them. I am so fast in prison I cannot get free. My eyes fail because of my affliction. Lord, I call to you every day. I stretch out my hands toward you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Or will the shades rise up again to praise you? Shall your love be declared in the grave? Or your faithfulness in the place of destruction? Will your wonders be made known in the dark? or your righteousness in the land where all things are forgotten. But to you, Lord, will I cry. Early in the morning my prayer shall come before you. O Lord, why have you rejected me? Why do you hide your face from me? I have been afflicted and wearied from my youth upward. I am tossed high and low. I cease to be. Your fierce anger has overwhelmed me and your terrors have put me to silence. They surround me like a flood all the day long. They close upon me from every side. Friend and acquaintance you have put far from me and kept my companions from my sight. Creator God, whose praise and power are proclaimed by the whole creation. Receive our morning prayers, we pray, and renew us in your service. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Bible reading this morning is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 19, verses 28 to 48. 
Jesus' triumphal entry. After Jesus had said this, he went on ahead going up to Jerusalem. When he had come near Bethphage and Bethany, at the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go into the village ahead of you, and as you enter it you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks why are you untying it, just say this, The Lord needs it. So those who were sent departed and found it as he had told them. And as they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, Why are you untying the colt? They said, The Lord needs it. Then they brought it to Jesus, and after throwing their cloaks on the colt, they set Jesus on it. And as he rode along, people kept spreading their cloaks on the road. As he was now approaching the path down from the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of power that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, order your disciples to stop. He answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the stones would shout out. As he came near and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, If you, even you, had only recognised on this day the things that would make for peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. Indeed, the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up ramparts around you and surround you and hem you in on every side. They will crush you to the ground, you and your children within you, and they will not leave within you one stone upon another because you did not recognise the time of your visitation from God. Then he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling things there. And he said, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. Every day he was teaching in the temple. The chief priests and the scribes and the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him, but they did not find anything they could do, for all the people were spellbound by what they heard. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Continuing on page 420, we say together the canticle, A Song of Redemption. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. For it pleased God that in him all fullness should dwell, and through him all things be reconciled to himself. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. 
Our prayer for this week. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace. And in the renewal of our lives, make known your heavenly glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, we come to you in prayer, bringing the concerns of our hearts and praying for your church and your world. We pray for the church. We pray for the church in this diocese and for our partner churches. And in this diocese, we pray for our Bishop Peter as he leads us and for his team. We pray for the First Peoples of this region and especially the Awabakal, Biripai, Darkenyang, Kiwigal, Kamilaroi, Waramai and Wanarua peoples. We pray for the Diocese of Guadalcanal, our partner diocese. We pray for this nation, for our Prime Minister and our Parliament, for our Premier and her Parliament. We pray for the work that they are doing at this time. We pray for public service as they support our government leaders and in the work they do. We pray in our community for all who are affected by the COVID-19 virus and for their families and their friends. We pray for those who are affected through having contracted the virus, who are in um, isolation to prevent spreading it. We pray for those who are affected because they have lost their jobs or been stood down for this time. We pray for those who are affected because they cannot mix with others. Pray for the deep impact on our community. A time when people cannot gather for worship or friendship or sport. And we pray your care for each person affected by this crisis. We pray for medical and health workers and for those preparing in our hospitals for um, admissions of patients. We also pray for those diagnosing and treating the COVID-19 virus, for those researching and deploying treatments and cures. We pray you would grant them success in their efforts. And we pray that this virus by your grace and the work of those with particular skills might soon be eradicated. In the life of our diocese today, we pray for the clergy and people of the parishes of Christchurch Cathedral, Hamilton, Katara, South, Lampton, Merriweather and Cooks Hill. And we pray for the staff, students and their families of Newcastle Grammar School. We hold before you all that our day has unfolding before us, that we might know your presence in all things and trust in your goodness and find our strength in you. Teach us, gracious Lord, to begin our works with reverence, to go on in obedience and finish them with love and then to wait patiently in hope looking joyfully to you, whose promises are faithful and rewards infinite. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power. Protect us from sin. Guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, 
direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen.